Well, welcome to this Excel tutorial here. I'm going to show you how to super hide a worksheet and that will make it so that you cannot simply right click and unhide it here. And the best part about this is that we do not have to do any programming. So in this example, let's say that we've got our worksheets and they're all working well, they're interconnected, but we have a source data worksheet over here that we don't want the average user to easily be able to mess up. Now in my other tutorials, I show you how to password protect this guy so you can click a button in the worksheet, input a password, and then view it. That's a really great little trick that requires programming. I highly recommend you check out my full Excel VBA and macro course to automate Excel like that if you want to make things a bit more fun. I'll put a link to it below this video. But here we don't even need that. You hit Alt F11 on the keyboard, then make sure you've got these two windows visible. You can go to View and Project Explorer and Properties window, click those guys. Then we go over here to our workbook and click the worksheet that we care about, Source Worksheet, that's one we wanna hide. Then we go to the Properties window down here to Visible and we want to select Excel Sheet Very Hidden. Now when you do that, it looks like it didn't save, but what happened is it saved it and then it selected another worksheet up here. So we go back to Source, you can see it's a Very Hidden, and if we go back to Alt F11 to get back here, we can see source is gone. Right click and unhide is not clickable. So how do we bring it back? Well, we click the worksheet and we select Excel sheet visible. Now it's back. So now that we know how to do that, you can stop there or follow the next steps to make it password protected. It's not going to be as user friendly as clicking a button in the worksheet, but we go back to source, visible, make it Excel sheet very hidden, and we can click it to verify, looks good. Then click this project, right click it, go to a VBA project properties, then protection, lock project for viewing, and input your password. If you download this workbook from our website, I'll put a link to that below this video as well, this is going to be 123456. Of course, never make that your actual password. Then hit OK. But in order for this to actually work, we need a little bit of code in here, but we don't have to write anything. Just double click this workbook, and up here where it says General, click Workbook, and that's it. Don't input anything else, you're good to go. Nothing will happen, this is just default code. You haven't input anything down here. The final thing to do is to save the workbook. Right now, though, we have an XLSX, a regular workbook. And because we have some code, even though it won't do anything, we need a macro-enabled workbook. So we can just click Save from here. It will let us know you've got some code. Do you want to save it as a macro-free or enabled workbook? We can hit No to resave the workbook. And Save as Type is now going to be Excel macro-enabled. It is off the screen but that is our selection, XLSM. Hit save. Now I'm gonna close and reopen the workbook and show you what it looks like. Now that we have a macro enabled workbook, it's going to say, hey, security warning, but don't worry about that because we don't even have any code in it really. So enable content and we go down here. Can we unhide it? Right click, nope. How about Alt F11? Can we unhide it from here? Let us find out, hit the plus icon and there we go, a password prompt. So now you have to have your password. Then we can go down here. Then we can unhide it. Alt F11. And there we go. And that's all you need to super hide and unhide your worksheets and keep them password protected without having to do any tricky VBA macro code. If you want to automate your worksheet even better, do check out our full courses on teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to them below this video. For this tutorial, that's all there is. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you get all of our future tutorials. See you next time and have a great week.